to three letters of the English alphabet, which everyone is talking about. Not all that talk about it understand it. Not all that understand it practice. And I'm talking about ESG, which I know is very close to your heart. Uh, you mentioned in a recent article that ESG is important for companies. I want to turn it on its head and say companies are important for ESGs. ESG will go nowhere if companies don't uh, get the right together. And I think firstly, the understanding, not treating it as uh, some kind of badge of courage that you haven't earned but still choose to wear by writing English in annual report. Uh, what is the way forward for ESG? I think this is, uh, this is a very big one. And I, if we step back and even ask the question as to why is ESG suddenly become very important, I think one of the pointers is that corporations and actually governments, and in governments I include, you know, everything from the politician to the regulator, have obviously not done what they are supposed to do uh, to be in the state in which we are. And I don't have to go through all of that. There is enough empirical evidence. And, you know, David Attenborough, who's my hero, has become, you know, has spent 94 years of his life telling the world that this party is not going to last forever, but somehow we don't accept it. You know, there was a wonderful Red Indian saying that I came across one time and loosely translated. It means that, you know, when all the waters are polluted and the air is polluted and the trees have been cut and the birds have gone, you will realize that you cannot eat money. And I think that is so true. Now, I think companies, part of governance has to be the relationship that companies have with communities, that communities and companies have with their countries, that countries have with each other, because that is the only way for this planet to, um, you know, to ensure that there is a good quality of life for everybody, not for a select few. And again, you know, we, we look at things on the periphery rather than understanding deeply, you know, what does E mean, you know, when we talk about the environment. And there are so many dimensions to each of these. You know, S is usually loosely translated as, okay, let's report on board diversity, Let's now look at what is the median pay to top management pay, et cetera. That is not S. And governance, which is the biggest, is you know, the most confusing, if you ask me. And, you know, if you, if you think about governance, and I read somewhere that actually governance, the word, has a very interesting pedigree. It goes back to the time of Chaucer, at which time, you know, it... Uh, it meant responsibility and wisdom. Um, and, you know, its Latin word actually means to steer. So I think a lot of work needs to be done on saying what exactly is included in governance. And again, I, we come back to the same point that if there, is, if there is character and if there is ethical behavior, I think governance should actually decrease and not increase. 